fish. There's a good one. Right on that stump. Holy cow. Yes, sir, man. You wanna grab that net? Where is it? Right here. Pull that steel ring. I'm ready for you. Yeah, I wasn't gonna horsey man. Big mama. A lot better. Yes, sir. A lot better. <laughs> a little bit better, huh? So there's some of those fish here too. Yeah, it's just a matter of beating them out. There's you. Nice. She's over. What do you think? She over five? She's right in that area. Good healthy fish. Look at that. It just fell out. Look how thin her mouth is right in there where I had her hooked. Now you can see she's down in that grass. If you're not in the grass, you're not gonna catch the bass. Sometimes you have to deal with it. You see the tails. Beautiful fish. She's not even beat up. Now that fish right there could be a late spawner. She's not beat up at all. So we're gonna let her go so she can get back hey, to Hey, they're work. chasing bait back over here. Are they? Yep. Savior. Just can't hardly beat it. Yeah, two big pods of bait came up. You know, a lot of the key to fishing this bait, especially in the deep water and on a clear lake, is the, the floral carbon. And uh, I, I use this vicious line. This is 15 pound test. You know, a lot of people think that when you're throwing a shaky head, it's all strictly a finesse technique. I'm using a seven foot medium heavy rod. Good and stiff, good backbone. That's a 5 16 omega head on 15 pound vicious line. So there's no finesse about this.